It's March 16th, 2020. In just three days, California will go into lockdown. I want to do some things with you that will help you with the pressure of this time. So not just for the immune system, but for the way that the the mind gets distracted and weak. And sitting cross-legged on a stage in a yoga class that thousands of students will later watch on YouTube is a white woman in a white turban and flowy white clothes. All right, that's our plan. We're sticking to it. Then we have three more backup plans in case that one doesn't work. Um, So this is bunker one, we have bunker two, we have bunker three, we have bunker four. Before the pandemic, this woman, Guru Jagat, she was a famous Kundalini yoga teacher. She was kind of a girl boss. She had a no bullshit teaching style that got her celebrity clients like Alicia Keys. She had a fashion line, a book deal, a streaming platform, and a podcast where she said stuff like this. Well, one of my favorite uh, mantras of 2020 is no, or, you know, even better than that, fuck no. Um, <clears throat> because true compassion often comes with no. She's so funny. She could light up an entire room without even saying anything. It was like the cosmos conspired to put me here to learn from this woman. She's actually kind of like Kundalini royalty. Okay, so you're on your back, stretch the fingers towards the toes, and begin breath of fire. (laughs) And then 2020 hits. And in the next few months, Guru Jagat, like many yoga and wellness influencers, will begin to speak more and more frequently about her belief in conspiracy theories like QAnon. We're in this global lockdown. We know there's other reasons for it besides um, what they're telling us. She starts interviewing controversial guests on her podcast. Five years ago, if you believed in aliens or you were talking about aliens, you were a conspiracy theorist. Now that's just in your Apple News feed. She starts sharing her opinions in class. Does she embrace the QAnon stuff? In conversations with us, talking to us about... Uh, George Soros. And she starts to become isolated from her family. And Guru Jagat wasn't the only one. There's been a lot of reporting about radicalization in the wellness industry during the pandemic. So much so that there's even a term for it now. It's called the wellness to QAnon pipeline. What is that about? I mean, what is it about wellness and yoga that seems to slide so readily into conspiracy theories? If you are young or searching or in a time of crisis, it seems to offer a whole lot of answers. This is the perfect, perfect opportunity for me to prove that my yoga actually has miraculous healing qualities. In this season of Imperfect Paradise, I'm going to tell you how Katie from rural Maryland became Guru Jagat of Venice and how she changed in the final years of her life. I can't ask her these questions because she's no longer here. But I spent a lot of time talking to people who knew her well and watching a lot of her videos and those of her teacher and followers. Even if you think that she's a scam artist, even if you think she's a conspiracy theorist, you can't look at her eloquence and her teachings and deny that she is one of the greatest teachers that's ever lived during our time. From LA Studios, this is Imperfect Paradise, yoga's queen of conspiracy theories, launching this January. I'm Emily Guerin, the host of California City. Listen wherever you get your podcasts. This program is made possible in part by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, a private corporation funded by the American people.